You're watching Vancouver TV, where we show you what's happening in your city. We've got the latest movie reviews and access to your favorite celebs. From fashion to red carpets, live shows, and more, we cover it all, keeping you informed about your city and in the know about upcoming events. A long time ago, I had a big, fat Greek wedding. Now my daughter is all grown up. I hope you apply to some local colleges too. Why do parents always say dream big when they really mean not too big? Ian and I are just trying to find a minute to ourselves. How about another date tonight? And afterward, oh, satin, slippery like an eel. Yeah. You're welcome. Shave everything. You look pretty. What are you doing? Dad! And my family is still too close. Parents deserve a sex life, too. This family's always in my business. Keep your eyeballs open for a nice Greek boy, so one day you can make babies. They follow me everywhere. Hey, hey, hey. I need some air. Your mom felt the same way about being Greek. Florida, Texas, New York, these are the colleges I'm applying to. Why do you want to leave me? <coughs> Payback. But there's always... The priest never signed the wedding license. A few surprises. We're not married? I'm a hippie. <laughs> now, my family has come together. Who says a woman has to be married? You. All our lives. The wedding is off! To pull off another... Beautiful. Big, fat, Greek wedding. Hey, yeah, a, take photo. a photo! All right, all right pull my neck. One, two, two pull. pull! But you got to be Even though I'm taking a step back, I will always be right here. Why aren't you in Greek club? <gasps> Every day of my life is Greek club. We come from a long line of strong women. Remember Paris, protect the Polaki. Eyes open, knees shut. If your knees are open, shut your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode here on Vancouver Television. I'm your host, Maria Rincon, and we're here joined by our fashion brand, Accept Me founder, Kim. How are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah, we're very happy to have you. Now tell us a little bit about your brand. So Accept Me is a philanthropic fashion brand. It supports a global culture of acceptance, and it strives to redirect societal marginalization. It's comprised of four tenets, which are accept me for who I am, how I look, whom I love, and what I believe. Wow, that is really, really beautiful. And what inspired you to begin this brand? Um, I sort of went through a very interesting time in my life about two years ago. But backing that up a little bit, I have some children that were being bullied. And I've always been an advocate for bullying, um, psychologically with them to help them through it. I've dealt with the parents of the kids that were bullying them and also instructing my children to live by the golden rule and not be like that. And I had to deal with administrators in the schools as well. And so now, a few years later, I found myself in a really weird situation where I was being bullied and I had never been bullied before. So that was really sad and super interesting for me to experience that. And at the same time, there was where I live out in the Fraser Valley, there's a lot of racism out there. And for anybody that knows me, knows I really can't stand racism. I look like I'll kind of get up and leave the room if people are being really racist. Um, so that was really concerning to me and I couldn't figure out what was going on about that. And it was all over the news, just everywhere from the wars to the racism going on in you know, the middle USA. And I just was like, what is going on? And then Nelson Mandela passed away. This all happened like within you know, two month period. And I was just in this crazy funk. And I couldn't really figure it out, so I started writing, I like to write, and I started mind mapping my thoughts and just kind of condensed them down and condensed them down. And I literally landed on two words and it was just accept me. And my tenants sort of evolved through that, through my mind mapping. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a very, very inspiring way to start an Accept Me brand. And how long have you been uh, with the brand now? The brand launched in June of 2015. But it took about a year, just over a year and a bit for inception and then launched last summer. Yeah, so pretty short-lived so far. Pretty fast and furious all of a sudden, yeah. Are you taking it all in? 
It's pretty exciting, especially because of the Grammys. That's pretty exciting. But yeah, it's like, it's hard work. And it's very emotional because it's very near and dear to me, but it's amazing. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, congratulations. Exactly, something new. So for all the viewers, um, Kim's brand, Except Me, has been handpicked for the Grammys gift bags this year. How does that feel? It feels exciting and amazing, and I'm really hoping that I get some leverage out of it and great exposure, and yeah, it's awesome. It's wonderful. So um, where did you get the inspiration for the logo of Accept Me? Well, the inspiration came from just like when I was mind mapping my thoughts and I thought about globally, what can I do to try and change the world, I guess. That sounds like a lofty goal, but I wanted to bring awareness, and I did a lot of research into logos and what that means and how do they attach to your brand. And then I researched the peace sign quite heavily and why does that have such longevity and what is, you know, cool about it. And um, anyway, I, I put all of my thoughts together and I wrote them down and I have a lovely artist that I'm friends with and we went back and forth and she sent me four lovely logos. But as soon as I saw that one, it was, that's the one. It was like, boom, that's it. And uh, it encompasses everything. It's a, it depicts a person breaking through the barriers of marginalization. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Wow, very inspiring. So you have a clothing line for men and women, yes. and even children. Yes. And Oh, yeah. wonderful. And tell us a little bit about the jewelry you also design. Uh, the jewelry is designed in collaboration with a couple of people that I've work, I'm working with. Um, I've got a sterling silver necklace and the rest of it is like hammered aluminum. It's very light, hypoallergenic. So yeah, it's those ones. And this is my sterling silver necklace um, made with a gentleman in Vancouver that helped me out. They all firmly believe in my brand and just jumped on board to help me. I'm not really an artisan that way, but I had my ideas and I knew exactly what I wanted and they had the vision as me and it worked out perfectly. I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. And um, before starting this brand, you said you, you were in dentistry and did you ever, did you ever think that you'd become a, a fashion designer? No, and it's funny that you should say that because I really am having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that I am one, but I guess I am. Um, no, I, I always knew I wanted to do something, and I never really knew what that something was. I you know, kind of looked for it. I retired from dentistry a few years ago, and I've done philanthropic um, work in dentistry over in developing countries, which I totally enjoy and love doing. But I, I just knew there was something out there, but I didn't know it was going to come at all in the form of of this like I just had no idea and it it landed like literally in my lap so in a way you just can't ignore that you just kind of go okay this is it I gotta do it I'm moving forward and that's sort of what I did so accept me also supports the community in tremendous ways what organizations are you affiliated with so currently there's two organizations that I am working with one is called bullying ends here and one is called the boys club network the Boys Club Network operates in Vancouver and is launching into Greater uh, British Columbia and they have an after school program that they help at risk boys. They provide mentorship and love and they turn these extremely at risk boys into fabulous young men that turn into you know great citizens for our world, great fathers, great friends. And another organization I work with is called Bullying Ends Here and it was founded by a gentleman by the name of Tad Milmine and he goes throughout Canada and speaks to children or I think the age is around 14 to 16 years of age and he talks about his own personal bullying story and how he went from like near suicide to adversity and now he's lecturing all these kids and he's literally saving their lives and uh, he provides like counseling for them through people that work for his foundation and as my brand grows, I hope my list of philanthropic giving can grow as well. I'd love to have more people that support at-risk youth on my team and, and share this message of hope. It's wonderful. And Accept Me is a really personal brand. Do you feel empowered when wearing your t-shirts? I do. I feel, and it's interesting, I feel really empowered when I see people wearing my brand. It's almost like I have to do a double take. It's like I kind of pinch myself and go, what? Like, is this for real? Yeah, so I do, I feel really empowered because I believe everything it stands for. So it feels very empowering. I never not wear it. Yeah. Sometimes it's like it's really cold outside and I still have my t-shirt on. It's like, okay, but I have to wear my brand. <laughs> right now you're based in Vancouver, but you plan to expand nationally and in the States as well? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I ship to the States and through Canada. 
and I plan to you know do a lot of work in the States um, so that's my next goal is to get my name out there in the United States and attach it to some great influencers and it's a whole new world of marketing nowadays it's very different so all online it's all online and it's all about influencers and it's really exciting I'm getting to meet all these great people that are and the people that reach out to me or we reach out to I know believe in the brand they wouldn't support it if they didn't so that's encouraging to me that people love it which me it's wonderful and where do you see uh, accept me going in the future I would like to see my logo be seen internationally if I'm really honest I think it is as powerful as the peace sign I think people are deserving of acceptance and I think that everybody wants to be accepted so I really think it's gonna go global I see it going big and I see people wearing it yeah, for sure. I, I hope I see it everywhere. So <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. So Kim brought us some of the clothing of Accept Me, and this one is very special because this is the one that's going to be shown at the yes. Grammys. This is the one that I thought that the rock stars just really needed to wear. <laughs> um, I thought it was kind of cool and edgy, and you know, I didn't want them to be shining white. I like my white t-shirt like this one, but uh -huh. I thought this had a more appeal to like a rocker kind of a person, or to the country crowd that's going to be included in the Grammys as well. And I love that it has a little red dot, which is of an importance. And yeah, I just think they're maybe they'll grab gravitate towards it more. Yeah. And could you tell us more about the red dot that you said has uh, importance? Is makes makes it se seem like the person. I mean, they all have a dot, that's the person's head, yeah. but I really wanted it to, to be quite impactful, mm -hmm. so I decided to make one that would just have this striking red dot, so not only do you see the whole brand, but then you can do a double take to go, oh, this is like a person, and they are saying, accept me, and we are breaking barriers. I noticed that your designs are really simple and you're all about the message. Um, right now in fashion, everything is so bold and out there and it's really crowded. Why did you choose to go the simple route? Well, I think for right now, I wanted to start to get my message out there. I think as my brand develops, I could go into more you know, exciting patterns and stuff, but I really, right now, the message needs to be the first thing that people recognize and see, and the logo. I want the logo to be recognizable. So once I have achieved that, then I feel like maybe I could do brand development and move into different areas. Yeah. So it's all about the process, it's but all, slowly. It's all about the process for sure, and I need to do it slowly, and I need to make sure that what I'm doing is resonating with my audience, and I can tell by that by sales. If that didn't work, then I'll try something else. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to do something super bold right away just in case, first of all, I don't even know if the people like the brand yet, you know, like the logo. So just experimenting with that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I've got a few different options to show you. Of course. Okay, so I'll take out the next item. Okay. And do you want to hold that? Sure. Okay, so. so this is our beautiful kids baseball tee, which I just love. It's so adorable. And uh, I get a lot of great feedback from those cute little penguins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, the other two are just asking, or the little guy with the red hat, I should say, is asking to be accepted. And how can you not? Like, look at it. <laughs> it's so, so cute. cute. And it doesn't need words. Like, I think the little kid's tease, can, that speaks for itself. Just the animation is fabulous. True. Yeah, it's great colors. And There's also a little logo. The little logo on the hat, it has to, there always has to be a logo on my brand, on my t-shirts, it just has to be there, because that's the message. Yeah, so as I develop the clothing line for kids, it will have the same message. Maybe different animals, but something very cute that they can gravitate towards. So that's our flowy racer tee with our tenets on it. Um, this tee is the one I spoke about in the lookbook that possibly you can wear for bed. It is beyond soft, so soft. and it's very, very comfortable and very flowy. So if it's hot outside in the summertime, it's not going to be hugging and tight and if it's you know for bed it's just super comfortable it's not long nighty that wraps around your legs either yeah it's pretty great and this is where I took my little logo and turned it into a, a letter O mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, this is what I want people to do is I want them to join my movement and I don't want them to judge people so I sort of came up with this little title and I branded a few of my t-shirts and yeah, so that's one of the men's t-shirts. They can wear that to the gym or, you know, to the beach. And I have one for women as well. I have a flowy top and I have a racer tank that says join, don't judge as well. So you can head over to our website, which is acceptme.ca. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
cold, it's wet and rainy here in Vancouver, but it's the perfect weather for the Rain City Oscar viewing party here at the Van City Theater. We've got free popcorn, bingo, and an awesome cocktail, all for the Oscars 2016. Let's go in. We're here with Tom, the programmer here at the Van City Theater. How are you doing today? Great, it's exciting. Yes, it's the Oscar party. Um, I think Vancouver stepped up to it. It's raining, so it's, you know, the Rain it's, City party. That's right, Rain City Oscar party. We <laughs> had a feeling. It would rain. <laughs> okay, so what's new this year? Well, uh, we've been in a few years. This year, the, the brand new thing, we decided to go all out and get a special cocktail created for us. Wow. And uh, we've got lots of prizes for our, our patented Oscar bingo. Ooh. So we're giving away the top prize to, to the person who gets the most correct answers uh, is winning a festival pass to this year's VIF in October. And um, we've got passes of free tickets to the, to the theatre year round. We've got movie posters, DVDs, screenplays, uh, CDs. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Yeah. And, and, you know, besides all the goodies, um, free our popcorn also Yes, free everybody. popcorn! <laughs> I think that's the best part. And uh, to, to make it more of a sense of occasion, we've also got some special hosts. Uh, we've got the film editor of the Georgia Strait, Adrian Mack, is going to be coming down. Kim Linekin from the CBC, and Stephen Schelling, who's a freelance journalist, is going to be doing our red carpet uh, hosting duties for Adding us. to the magic. So people don't have to sit through all those ad breaks. They, they can uh, participate. There'll be trivia competitions. There's also best dressed prize. And uh, we'll be asking people what what they think will win, what should win, what's been omitted altogether. Yeah, that's true. And uh, personally, who do you have for the best picture? Well, I think The Revenant will win. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite movies didn't even get nominated for best picture. I really like Carol. I really liked Anima Lisa, which is up for um, best animated feature, but I suspect won't win that either. Yeah, Inside Out would probably take that one. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks so much and enjoy the party. Thank you very much. Hey VTV viewers, we're here at the Rain City Oscar Party red carpet with our guests Fiona and Tammy. How are you doing today? Good, I'm really excited. Yeah, how about you? Great. You guys look fabulous. What are you wearing? Thanks so much. Um, it's just a simple dress. It's flowy, it's black and white. Um, really comfortable. Yeah. yeah, and I see you got your toenails painted as well. They look oh, really yeah. cute. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. And how about you, Tammy? I'm wearing um, a green velvety piece from Hong Kong and um, heels are also from Hong Kong. Sweet. And you got a nice, nice necklace oh, to yeah. match with Forever it. Forever 21. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so let's talk Oscars now. Um, who do you have for best picture? Who do you think's gonna win? The Revenant? Yeah. Did you watch it? Oh, yeah. It was good. How about you? I'm kind of leaning towards The Room. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard it was a really good film. And there's a Canadian actor in there yeah, too, right? Yeah, Cool, and best actor, Leonardo DiCaprio or Matt Damon? Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he deserves to win this year. <laughs> he finally needs to get one yeah, this year. How about you? It's the Leo year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the party, girls. Thank oh, you. Hi, everybody. So we're here for the Oscars, or we're here for the sixth anniversary of the Olympic Games gold medal men's hockey, which is it? Because it was today, six years ago. Um, I know, right? Thank God for Facebook and my sportsy friends who put it up there. Because otherwise, I never would have known. Um, so. We've seen a couple of people show up. These are the early arrival people. Usually if you end up on the red carpet early, it's because you're thirsty for publicity, and it's not because you're really in the running for anything. Um, so these aren't going to be the amazing dresses or the really horrible outfits. Um, those usually go to the really big celebrities who pay people like stylists to pick out outfits for them, and sometimes they pick out good outfits, and sometimes they pick out really bad outfits, which are sometimes more entertaining than some of the movies that are nominated here this evening. Um, I'm so, I, I don't mention any particular movie, The Revenant, but um, speaking of Thirsty, Leo's maybe going to win his um, first Oscar this evening. He's chased it harder than any supermodel he ever has in the past, so maybe he does deserve it. Um, the bloated face of New Hollywood, love him. Just love Leo. Um, so yes, we do have some great prizing for you this evening, and as Tom had mentioned, you have to get your bingo card. Not only do you have to get it and fill it out, they then are asking that you go back to where you got it from, the table up front. Oh, oh my god, we're back. We'll tell you more about bingo in a second. Let's listen to what Robin has to say. 
I'm super excited. I've got my popcorn ready and the Rain City Oscar party is just about to begin. Let's go in. Hey VTV viewers, we're here with the students of Douglas, Douglas Annex. Annex. Ooh, Douglas Annex. And how are you guys doing today? Good. Good. And what are we doing here today and what are you excited for? We're going to see the Globetrotters. Ooh, we're going to see the Globetrotters. And they're going to land in an airplane, right? Mm -hmm. And who, what's the name of the Globetrotter? Slick Willie Shaw. Okay, awesome. And are you guys excited to see him do some really cool tricks with the basketball? Yeah. Yeah, and what's this guy's name right here? Turbo. Turbo, and you're excited to be with him here too? Yeah. Awesome, okay, so let's wave to the camera. We're also here with three awesome students from Queen Elizabeth Elementary. What are your names? Georgia, Ruby, <coughs> Catherine. And what are you doing here today? Uh, Harlem Globetrotter. And have you ever seen their show before? Uh, yeah. No, no, I, I, I have. No. You have? How was it? It was good. It was good. And are you excited that you're going to be meeting Slick Willie Shaw today as well? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Hey VTV viewers, it's Maria here and we're here at the Seaplane Terminal by Canada Place to be witnessing Harlem Globetrotter Slick Willie Shaw land by Seaplane to kick off Globetrotter Week here in BC. So our Harlem Globetrotter Slick Willie Shaw just arrived off the Harbour Air Seaplane and got greeted by our Harbour Air mascot Turbo. guys coming out to see me, I want to have a little bit of fun with you guys, okay? Yeah. So I need <laughs> six volunteers. <laughs> that's good, that's good. And I'm going to, before each and every game, the Harlem Globetrotter, we come out to our theme song, Sweet Georgia Brown. That's where we have five or six of our best ball handlers. Demonstrate some ball handling that took us years and years and years to practice, and I'm gonna teach six of you guys in two minutes. All right? We're right. gonna hold hands, everybody hold hands. I know it's a little chilly, and we're gonna go ring around the rosy. I'll fight, I'll fight. All right, here we go. You guys hold hands. Take a step back. Let hands go. Take two steps back. All right? You're gonna go between your leg. You're gonna go between your other leg. You're gonna hold it out. You're ready to catch me, all right? And hit it with your elbow. All right? <laughs> so take the ball, you're gonna go around your back, between your leg, between your other leg, hold it out, and hit it with your elbow. Give her a hand! All right, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the ball, you're gonna go around your back, you're gonna go between your leg, between your leg, halfway around your back. You ready, sweetie? I'm gonna pass it to you, okay? You ready? I'm gonna flip it over. There you go, good catch! Yeah! You gotta flip it over to her right now. <laughs> so go around your back. It's dangerous. Between your leg. Between your other leg. Halfway around your back. Oh, no. Flip it over to her right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job. Okay, you ready? This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the ball. You're gonna go around your back. Between your leg. Between your leg. Ready? Catch sweet, okay? And off the knee. All right? So you hit it okay like this. All right? Between your leg. Between your other leg. And off your knee. Good job! Round your back one time. Oh, round your back one more time. <laughs> There you go. Throw it up and hit it off the forehead. Good job. I take that. Uh huh. Flip under the leg. There you go. Good 
Good job. <laughs> Can yes. you tell us a little bit about Smile Patrol and ABC for Bullying? Yes, absolutely. Now, our Smile Patrol is where we go to children's hospitals and we go walk through and, you know, put a smile on a couple of kids' faces that's going through a tough time in their life, and I love that part of my job. Um, ABC is a bullying prevention. is where we go to schools and we talk about our bullying program where we raise the awareness of bullying and help kids, give them the proper tools to help prevent bullying from happening in their schoolyards and their communities by simply using their ABCs. A stands for action. B stands for bravery, and C stands for compassion. By simply using those three letters, those three words, they can help prevent bullying from happening in their schoolyards and in their communities. And where's the name? Slick Bully Shaw come from? They call me Slick because I can do some slick things with the basketball. I also can slip by my defender in any tight situation on the court. Awesome. Your birthday is coming up very soon, March yeah. 8th. Oh, uh, man, I like her. Let's see her, man. What are you going to get me? That's what I want to know. She knows the day. I'm gonna um, I forget what part of the world I'm gonna be in, but um, I'm just happy to, you know, experience the things I experience and create positive memories for people uh, on my day of my birthday. So we'll see what happens. Would you like to see me do a couple of tricks? Yeah! yeah! All right, so you guys stand over there for me, and I need you to keep that one-two clap going. One-two clap. <laughs> Too cold. Oh, oh, let me get another one for you. My hands are a little cold. Bear with me. There we go. You get a good one. Good job. Come here, please. Put your finger like this. Make it strong. Put your finger nice and strong. Put it nice and strong. There you go. <laughs> And we're here with Slick Willie Shaw. And we're watching Vancouver, Vancouver Television. Television. Can, you, can you teach me how to spin a ball? Ooh, right this one right here. Watch for being a trooper. Ah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Woo! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank you.